Welcome to a full day of eating. The first thing that you should always do when you wake up is drink water. A lot of you guys like to drink coffee first thing in the morning, but the better hydrated you are, the better the caffeine is going to work in your coffee. It's all about you guys, but I can't work out if I have food in my stomach, so I usually work out fasted. Um, not that fasting matters to burn fat while you're working out. It's just my preference. So, we're about to head... We're about to hit uh, upper body day, and then we'll see what uh, we decide to eat today. All right, so just finished my workout. Pretty good workout, can't complain about it. Um, after work, I usually like to do some work, check my emails and run through any uh, anything that my manager sent over. Um, I like to have an energy drink. I'm not a big coffee drinker, so I drink 3D energy, shout out 3D. So I like to sip on this throughout the afternoon because I'm able to uh, suppress my hunger. I get some caffeine in and it's only 15 calories. And it stays pretty carbonated throughout the day, so. Time to eat, first meal of the day. Um, let's see what I have in my fridge. So for lunch, I made some white fish. Fish? Air fried broccoli and egg fried rice to bring it all together. Nothing fancy, just thrown together. Um, I'm wanting to hit my macros. I love putting sriracha on everything and anything, so this is what I use. Can't forget about your zero soda. Zero calories, help you stay full longer. And no, aspartame does not give you cancer. And I just actually got invited for dinner, so I'm gonna try to eat light so I can eat a little bit heavier for dinner. So that means I probably won't be snacking as much throughout the day. I don't know where I'm going for dinner yet, but hopefully it's a good place. I know I'm walking there, so I'll be getting I'll be getting some steps in. At least I think I'll hit about twelve thousand steps today. Alright, well I'm gonna start eating my food before it gets cold. So I just did the macros on this, and this is about 85 grams of protein, but just under 700 calories. Actually, it's like 618, I think. So I know it looks like a lot of food, but eating fewer calories doesn't mean eating less food. So learn how to fit volume into your diet. All right, so I'm going to the grocery store to get some ingredients for my video. Um, I'm shooting a video for TikTok and for Instagram, so Stay tuned for it. Believe it or not, walking 10,000 steps burns more calories than most workouts. But yeah, I encourage you to walk. No one is too cool for walking, so get your steps in. And one of the things I love about walking is that it actually suppresses hunger. You guys know me, I snack often. So the more that I'm home, the more I'll snack. So it's a great way for me to be outside and to be away from home. So I snack less. I'll probably have a protein shake when I'm home. 
and that'll probably be it for the day until dinner. And like I said, I'm going out to dinner with a friend. Um, he used to live in Chicago with me, but we're both in LA now. So excited to meet him or see him. Um, I haven't seen him in like two years. So excited for dinner tonight. And I'm not really gonna track my dinner tonight. I just know that I have like an X amount of calories left. And um, I know I ate like under a thousand uh, before dinner. So I'm pretty flexible today for dinner. And I have about, after the protein shake, I'll probably get in around 120 grams of protein. So I think I'll be pretty good for dinner. I just need about like 50 or 60 grams more, 50 or 60 grams more protein. So I'll definitely hit that goal today. My goal every day is to hit 200 grams of protein because protein is the most, protein burns the most calories because of the thermic effect of food. And that's just a fancy way of saying protein burns more calories because it takes more energy for your body to digest protein across the street. So the more protein that you eat, the more calories your body will burn and you might even be in a bigger deficit than you thought. But yeah, everything you do with your body, you'll burn calories, whether it's blinking, talking, thinking, eating, you burn calories. So make sure your body is always moving so that you're not sedentary. Being sedentary leads to a leads to bad choices because you tend to snack more, you'll be lazy, and you burn less calories, which means you might be able to, you might be more susceptible to storing more fat. And not because you're just sitting around, but because you're not using the energy that you're giving your body. Well, I'm almost at my grocery store, so I'll see you guys when I'm home, and you'll see me with my next snack. One of my favorite protein shakes, Fair Life. 150 calories, 30 grams of protein. Really easy way to get in, a really easy way to get in 30 grams of protein. If you have a hard time getting your protein. I usually get all my protein from food, but since I'm going out to eat, and I don't know what exactly the protein amount will be tonight. I'm just going to kind of uh, supplement with the extra protein shake. I love Fairlife because this protein shake actually tastes like chocolate milk and it doesn't taste like a protein shake. One of the best. <laughs> they also have strawberry, strawberry banana, caramel, it's caramel, not caramel. It's caramel. And vanilla. But I think only strawberry, depending on which location, they're at Costco. Uh, and chocolate and caramel should always be at Costco. I've had about, about 800 calories today. So I am going to save the rest for dinner. And I am at about 120 grams of protein. So as long as I am taking my protein goal, which is about... A good way to tell if you're on track for your protein is if every 10 calories, you have one gram of protein. So if you have 100 calories, it should be about 10 grams of protein. So because I have about 800 calories in me and over 100 calories or 100 grams of protein, I am perfectly on track. Well, see you guys for dinner. I'll be meeting my friend Alan. Uh, we'll be walking there to get some extra steps and I'm really excited for it. Never been there and I don't know what I'm eating. So I'll make sure it'll be protein based. See you guys then. And before we go out for dinner, cannot forget about creatine. I take this every day. I take about six or seven grams, it depends. And yes, I dry scoop this because then in that case, I'm going to chug water. And that's what I call high quality tools. Creatine. 
Great for weight loss, great for weight maintenance, great for weight gain. Helps you get stronger, better recovery, and the most studied supplement on the market. Creatine monohydrate. See you guys at dinner. So just got back from dinner. I didn't really get to record much because it was kind of crowded in there, unfortunately. So, didn't get much film. But really good, really solid. It was great seeing Alan. And I think I finished in a slight deficit today. Um, nothing was too heavy, too greasy, or very fatty. So, just had soup, a little bit of rice, and uh, puchujan, which is like a, a green scallion pancake. Pretty light meal, definitely hit at least 180 grams of protein. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go get ready for bed now. It is nine o'clock, watching TV, wind down, and uh, see you guys when I'm winding down. All right, thank you guys for joining me today, hanging out. It's been real, it's been fun. It's been real fun. Like and subscribe if you guys enjoy the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next.